If you can't be stronger than the enemy, surprise him. Unconventional solutions are often the most efficient, especially in a war with no holds barred. Today you'll see the most original armies and units in the world. 15 meters. Is it much or little? If you cover them on a perfectly smooth track and cool sneakers, it's nothing. To cover them on your hands is a little bit more difficult. But if you do weightlifting exercises and practice gymnastics, you can cope with it. But imagine this road covered with sharp stones and coral splinters. And you have to not just walk on it, but crawl over it on your belly without using your arms. This is how we can describe the friendly ambiance in which the frogmen of the Taiwan, a partially recognized republic in East Asia, Marine Force passed the final exam with the suitable name Road to Paradise. The cadets' emotions can tell you more than we can. At the end, they are rewarded with hugs of their relatives, the status of a full-fledged Marine, and certainly the feeling of pride. You should endure nine weeks of training in one of the elite military units of Taiwan, and don't spare yourself too much on the track. Among millions of people who participated in World War II, 1,100 persons have figured in history as the Ghost Army. A specific army was created on the initiative of the U.S. Armed Forces. Eight days after the Allied countries had created the Western Front in 1944, the soldiers of the Ghost Army executed their first operation. Their main advantages were quick-wittedness and acting skills, but not combat skills. It may be called the first warfare trolling ever seen, and they were very efficient at that. A designer, a photographer, an editor, and other representatives of arts professions were deceiving the Third Reich's soldiers for months with the help of 17 inflatable tanks, trucks, and artillery cannons. Those props were needed to misinform the German army about the Allied troops' position and operations. You may think that making an inflatable tank is the same as to pump up a children's trampoline, but it's nothing like that. The models were based on a framework of pipes in which air was delivered by a compressor. The challenge was to create a lifelike but understandably imperfect camouflage. It was important to bring other senses into play. For instance, creating a real sound ambiance the soldiers had recorded in a training camp. The sounds of shots and movements of war machines. The soldiers did not limit themselves to the inflated properties. Having resorted to all the mental charisma of Hollywood, they entered French cafes and discussed details of military operations loudly, surely invented from the first to the last word. The command's right turn and left turn are known from school days. But why limit yourself during a march when you can sing in your mother tongue? Make gestures with your hands and shake your thighs. This is the marching style of African soldiers. and a sudden presence of national color doesn't prevent them from coordinating their gestures. Actually, African guys are famous for their unconventional approach. Thus, if they don't have enough shells during the maneuvers, they imitate the sounds of shots and explosions with the help of articulation and imagination and fire on imaginary targets. After all, why not? They practice the tactics without endangering their companions' lives. Nice approach. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. You're a girl. You should speak gently. <laughs> try saying this to the soldiers of Israeli's women's military units. At the same time, try expressing your view on gentle character, charm, or cookery, just to see what disciplinary punishment they will apply to you. Let's start with the fact that in Israel, all girls are liable for call-up on an equal footing with men. The only difference is that most of Israeli girls serve in non-battle units. There are exceptions, such as the Karakal Battalion, Two-thirds of the battalion are girls, and the minority of men should make efforts to win respect. The main task of the battalion is not maneuvers, but real defense of the Israeli southern border, looking to terrorists, illegal migrants, and smugglers. So here you have winds of the desert, hard physical exercises, military workmanship, and taking discretionary decisions. To be ready to defend your country, you don't need to gather troops of hundreds and thousands of men. For example, the Army of San Marino counts just 80 soldiers. However, nobody could ever deprive the country of its independence. Of course, the highest level leaders, geographic inaccessibility, and strength of mind are important. 
Today, the San Marino Army takes on the role of the police rather than the army and defends the order in the country. The National Guard, armed with swords, established in the 18th century, protects the members of the parliament, whereas the gendarmerie maintains the civil order. Military service in the small republic is not compulsory today, but volunteers are always welcome. Despite the fact that all the mentioned armies are not conventional, we would like to deal with none of them. Don't miss our new releases. Bye-bye.